What's up folks, my name's Kevin and I'm a member of the team here at Dino. And today I wanted to give you a quick demo of Dino KV and specifically one feature that actually dropped in version 1.36 of the Dino runtime, uh, which is the ability to connect to a KV database that's actually hosted remotely in Dino Deploy. So uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, the Dino KV is a key value database, uh, sort of similar to Redis, uh, which is built into the Dino runtime. Um, and then also is available in Dino Deploy, the cloud hosting environment for Dino applications, uh, where it's backed by Foundation DB. And uh, up until the 136 release, you couldn't actually connect to a uh, instance of Dino KV that was uh, running in Dino Deploy, uh, but now you can. And today I'd like to show you how that works. So uh, to help uh, demonstrate, I just created a very simple uh, to-do list style application uh, using Dino KV. Um, it works as you might expect. You can add new uh, to-do items like you know get the groceries, and uh, you can also delete items that are in the list. And behind the scenes, this is all powered by uh, Dino KV. And the code to run this uh, isn't too crazy. Most of the code is just, you know, it's about 70 lines of a, uh, of a HANO uh, web server. Uh, HANO is a lightweight web framework that runs in Dino and also Node.js and Cloudflare workers, kind of anywhere where JavaScript runs. Uh, very similar to Express or uh, Sinatra, if you've used either of those frameworks before. And um, I just uh, created a very simple CRUD application that uses Dino KV to you know, store and then list uh, some items from the, from the database. And if you've used Dino KV before, uh, you might uh, recognize this line of code here where um, we just use this uh, API that's built into the Dino namespace to open up a reference to a key value database. Now, what you can do starting in 136 is instead of uh, just opening up a reference to whatever the local uh, database is, or maybe passing in a path to a file where the database lives, um, you can actually use a URL uh, which uh, exists on Dino Deploy. So um, what I'm gonna do here is just kind of switch over from using this local version of the database uh, to a database that's connected to like a remote instance of KV uh, running in the cloud. So I'll save that. And if I go back out to my browser and refresh the page, uh, I actually get a different list of items because these are the items that are stored uh, out on Dino Deploy. So I can add things like, you know, record a video. It looks like I actually already have that. Um, or I could say, you know, record a great video, which I'm sure is what's happening right now. So uh, we have this list of to-do items that's being populated here. And if I head out to uh, a live URL that's uh, connected to the same database, um, I can refresh here. And in a few minutes, or a few moments, excuse me, I can see that I have access to the same uh, list of key value, uh, key value pairs. And uh, for the observant, um, this application is actually running on fly.io, which is another uh, sort of edge hosting environment where you can run uh, Docker containers and other containerized applications on a globally distributed network. So um, in this instance, you can actually use uh, something like fly.io or like AWS Lambda or any other uh, environment where Dino code can run, and you can still connect to a KV instance that's hosted on Dino Deploy. There is uh, one minor caveat though, uh, which is that um, in addition to passing in the URL uh, to the KV instance you want to connect to, you do have to configure a Dino KV access token environment variable. And uh, this needs to be available in the system environment um, so that Dino can connect to whatever, uh, whatever KV instance you're trying to connect to. And uh, the access token is something that you can find in the Dino uh, in the Dino console. So when you create a Dino project, um, you don't even have to deploy any code to it for your KV instance to work. Uh, but uh, you can uh, log into Dino Deploy, uh, go to the access token section, and uh, you can create uh, you know an access token that's going to give you uh, the ability to connect to uh, a remote. Uh, DB instance. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is in your Dino Deploy project, uh, there's a KV tab, uh, which gives you information about the data that's in your KV database. You'll also find this uh, UUID for your, uh, your database. And that's actually a value you need uh, in order to create that URL that you use to connect to uh, your uh, KV database on Dino Deploy. So you'll create this uh, database URL and you'll pass that as an argument to dino.openkv. And as as long as you have that Dino KV access token environment variable stored, uh, you'll be able to connect to and use this database just fine. 
So uh, that's basically it. Um, I'll actually be sharing the code that uh, I just showed you so you can take a little bit longer to read through it, see how it works, um, actually even deploy it to fly.io yourself if you wanna kind of see how these um, technologies would work together. But uh, I hope you have a chance to check out DinoKV soon and uh, talk to you next time.